Welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Lee Newton. Hi, I'm Elliot Morgan. Well, it's that time again. Time where you look through the news and realize, God, people are stupid. So stupid. So stupid. Just asinine. And you have to let other people know about the stupid in order to let them determine which is more stupid than the other while simultaneously feeling better about themselves. You know, the norm. Oh, is that why we do stupid versus stupid? I thought it was just to make fun of people. Oh, it totally is. Oh, okay. First up, a man from China, specifically southeastern Guangdong, I'm butchering that, I know it, admitted himself to a local hospital after he reportedly got a live eel stuck inside him. Okay, thank you for not making me talk about this. It's stupid. It's so stupid. So stupid. The man apparently inserted a 20 inch long live swamp eel into his butt because of some sexual reason, blah, 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 and then proceeded to receive an all night surgery in order to get the eel out. Uh, the eel that he put in there. So stupid. Okay, no, 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 no. Real fast. Why are you sticking an eel inside of your butt? I know I said I wasn't going to talk about it because yeah. it grosses me out, but I'm just going to take a quick moment, run off the script real fast, and just ask a question. Why? What happened to you as a child that makes you want to do something? Like this. You are not stupid, sir. Dare I would say, even weird kind of just barely scratches at the surface. I'm gonna throw a word out there for you, sir, and it is demented. People do not do that. That is not normal. You should be ashamed of yourself, and you should not be in a new story. Your eel in your butt is now in my brain, and that, to me, is the stupidest thing about all of this. It was a live eel, too. <laughs> Now the eel reportedly chewed through the man's colon because he was simply trying to find his way out. Oh god. But I think it's safe to say the man learned his lesson. Stupid, stupid lesson. Okay, moving on. And in not butt related news, toy poodles. Yeah. I love toy poodles. This is way better. They're adorable. Okay, they're precious. Also, they aren't ferrets. No. Hard to believe, I know. But apparently, in a story circulating the interweb currently, a man took the toy poodles he bought at the market to a veterinarian only to find out that he bought a gigantic ferret. Yeah. The ferret was given steroids at birth to increase its size and then grew to look like a poodle. I'm sad. And the victim, if we can call him that, paid 150 bucks for each poodle. I hate to say it, but if if you can't tell the difference between a toy poodle and a ferret, you're stupid. Real fast though, and I'm just, I'm just gonna ask a real quick question. Why did the person inject a baby ferret with steroids? At what point did that person decide that, oh, you know what, I'm gonna take this adorable ferret, which is already a weird creature and already has a poor lot in life, take them and inject their face with steroids and then dye it white. I'm assuming they dyed it white. Maybe they didn't dye it white. I don't know. Dyed but what white. I want to know is why this person decided to sell that as a toy poodle. How many people walk by that and we're like, that's a weird looking toy poodle. I don't know. I'm not going to say it's stupid. It's evil. You are an evil person. The person who bought the ferrets thinking they're a toy poodle, you're stupid. The person who injected a ferret with steroids, that's ridiculous. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should not be in this new story. And the fact that your steroids are in your ferret, which became a toy poodle, which became that man's toy poodle, is now in my brain, is the stupidest part of all of this. So guys, which stupid takes the stupid cake? Eel butt or ferret poodle? <laughs> Let us know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, uh, like, subscribe, click the annotation for our five daily stories. I mean, it, it's an eel. I know. That's disgusting. I know. I caught an eel one time, uh, deep sea fishing. Throw that photo up. Look at that. That was mine. That's not me holding it. That, that is my eel. I mean, it was my eel. It's terrifying. Oh, I'm sorry. Click the annotation. My name's Elliot Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. Bye. Bye. You got Why would you put an eel in your butt? I know. <laughs>